it's tough because, uh, you know, there's so many ways to go at that. I mean, it depends on how you feel that day, right? Because, first of all, um, you can first rip the people that rip you. And that would be the easiest way. You know, 90% of the people that rip me probably don't have a college degree. Okay? So what dues did they pay for life? Where have they been? You know, it's easy to sit there and say, what have you earned? What have you done since then? I've been successful in and out of wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and that sounds like anger, you know? And then when you really look back at it, the thing about nepotism, when I think about it, it saddens me because they truly don't understand the business. And the, the majority of your critics are just that. They're critics. I mean, the wrestlers get so caught up in this game, but man, you go out to L.A., our critics are patty cake to TMZ. Our, the, the sheets they've got are the Inquirer. <laughs> We're not talking about 10,000 fan base that sees me in a wiener with my letter jacket on and going, Eric's a wiener or sucks and the worst thing that ever happened to wrestling. Oh my gosh, Meltzer. <laughs> you know, one time I was laughing because I'd never met him and I was like, if I ever meet him, I was just wondering if I could get royalties because shit, I've been his front page for the last two years, man. <laughs> you know, like, let's see, what do we what we'll write about that'll sell out? Well, well, that still sucks. Yeah, let's nail him, you know. Um... But a long time ago, my dad taught me, you know, you, you don't listen to the critics. They're a critic for a reason. They're a critic for a reason because, A, they didn't ever do it. B, they never could. Then you've got other guys that, that have done it and are critics. Name the real successful guys to me. Who's been a major star and that, and that has a dirt sheet? Name a major star that's a major true critic. There isn't any. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Goldberg, I don't know, a star or not, whether you think he's good or not, don't know. I've never heard him really be a huge critic. Sting, no. Stan Hansen, no. Uh, Vader, uh, Steiners, Hogan, they don't, they're not critics. They've been in the business, they know, they know what it's like. So to the critics about nepotism, okay, where do you work? <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me? It's who you know in life in the first place. I, 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 would, I would love for you to show me a place where uh, if it's a decent sized company in the first place, there is not someone that works there that knows somebody, a friend of somebody, a relative of somebody. Does that change your talent or your ability? Absolutely not. My resume shows, you know, three years, uh, I, I got a degree within my first three years, academic All-American, football player, All-American high school. I mean, this didn't stop me. Motivational speaker. I owned two businesses that did well over a million dollars within two years of owning them while being on the road and speaking, being a motivational speaker. State Board Partners for Georgia, you know. I mean, uh, uh, I can go on and list a list of, of accolades I've done that say, yes, I was a tremendous athlete. I've got an incredible athletic background. I, I was undefeated in my last three years of amateur wrestling. So it's not like I just did this one day and go, boom. So to my critics, I would say, I thank you. <laughs> I thank you. Google my name. Google my name. I went in and put Brock Lesnar, Sting, Steiner, Macho, all that. Put their name, comma, wrestler, see how many hits there are. Put Eric Watts, comma, wrestler, see how many hits there are. Okay? Hey, you do it after this interview. It's going to blow you away. Why in the world do so many people talk about me? I haven't wrestled in three years, bro. Why are we even doing this interview? Because there are people out there that are dying to have it, that loved me, thought I was great, but there's more that hated me and hell don't even know why. And we want to get this interview and tear it apart.